Hello, family of light. This is Davida with a medium of the light tarot. I was guided to do this video, so I don't know how it's going to roll out. I don't know what it's going to look like, but we're going to do it and we're going to go from there. So this is heavily um, for the spirits on the journey that are advanced. Um, some stuff might make sense, some stuff might not, but that's perfectly okay. You know, maybe you're just gawking at the channel and going, what? the heck is she talking about all right so spirit what do you want me to use first okay so i'm hearing that we're going to use the stargazer tarot okay so we're going to talk about love and feeling the need to defend one's self and the King of Wands here. This isn't necessarily a love reading, so don't be worrying for those of you who are like, I ain't talking about no love. All right. Give me... So with this lover's card came the plants. So Spirit is saying, what is it that you can do to plant seeds of love? Because what's coming up right now is the 1212 portal. And that is yet another example of the way that we can really open up to the possibilities that are around us. So plant the seeds of the love that you want to grow. Because this shows like we're at the end of a cycle and then it's the beginning of another. You know, you're harvesting, but they're saying it's time to plant something of what you want to create for this new cycle. What I'm hearing from Spirit is that this 1212 portal gateway, because of course shortly after is the 1221, that is the precursor to something even bigger. And for those advanced souls who are watching this, you are being technically, they're saying, prepared and warned that this could be something that would propel you forward, propel you forward. So with this King of Wands, okay. All right, so what I'm hearing with this King of Wands, you know, with this fiery passion, is that you're resisting your own energy. You're resisting your own fire, your own power. And this 1212 portal and the preceding 1221 is going to help you move past these blocks so right now you need to take the time to go what am i resistant of where do i resist my power and with the seven of wands what's the message here What I'm getting here is pretty good. You know, it's like, and it's kind of going along with this resistance. What are you fighting? What are you in your head about? That is such a beautiful card. This deck is so beautiful. This is from uh, Claire Mack, if you're interested. Highly recommend this deck. This energy is phenomenal. Okay. Alrighty. I think this is like the Ascended Masters deck. So what messages do we need to hear here for the advanced soul? Okay. Two of them. Sacred vision and love and peace. So with this one with the lovers, planting the seeds of love, harvesting the old, and storing that energy so you can build anew 
and here with the love and peace, create that within your heart. Know that when you expand and use the flower of life, which is the symbol behind her, you'll be able to open the portal even more. So if you're feeling called to do any of the meditations for the 1212 portal, um, I would suggest using these flower of life, the seed of life, the Merkaba, whatever you're called to, but activate this within you before you move into that space. And I'm also hearing it would be good to do some cleansing. And this is, of course, for the advanced soul. Duh, you already, need, you already know this stuff, right? I'm sorry, can you even see it? There, sorry about that. And they're saying that you need to be prepared, be prepared for a sacred vision. What I'm hearing for the advanced soul is that you are going to receive more of your light codes. You are going to be receiving more of the 3D reality stuff that you need to hear and understand. They say, yes, you're going to be moving from, you know, kind of being in your headspace here, defending yourself in this 3D reality and going into a higher level of understanding. It kind of harkens at words. You know, I'm, I'm thinking like this is the 3D earth and then you're transitioning into this higher, whether it's the fourth or the fifth or whatever, whatever one that you're gonna transi transition into because there is obviously plenty to go around, right? If you're an advanced soul, you're already living in those you know, multi-dimensional life situations. Okay, so they're saying no more on this one. All righty. What else? <laughs> what I'm hearing is they want to give a cryptic message. And only you will be able to figure out what the message means for you. So these are the first two that came out right off the bat. It says, go the distance. So whatever that might mean for you. Going, getting to that finish line. Making the effort. For some of you, you kind of resist and you stay up in your head to go the distance to do what spirit asks you to do or what they might suggest would be advantageous for you to do. Deep knowing. Enough said on that one, right? You know what to do. You know how to do this. This isn't your first time around. You know, we wouldn't even want to really fathom <laughs> how many times you've been around the block, right? What other messages here? This is a message that also has to do with this King of Wands. Because remember, we were talking about fiery fiery energy, how to harness your energy. What does this mean to you? To me, it's like energy, expansiveness, growing, and also nurturing. Like look at the face in there, if you can see it. Seems very relaxed in the, in the fire. Okay, they're saying they're done with that one. What else? Okay, they want to go into what I'm hearing preparatory stages for hearing and healing some of your darker side, the shadow side, the things that you don't necessarily want to face here. That's a powerful one. The old self, the new self, the mask in between, the knowledge that's hidden there, that's powerful. What I'm hearing too is from now until then, people's eyes are going to hold different codes or different information like you might become aware of um, 
psychic transmissions that people are going to give you that you didn't experience on such a wide um, on a consistent basis so be aware of that so that so you won't be shocked when you're like wow how did I know that information about them the next one is this beautiful card This is definitely, to me, an invitation into other worlds. Interesting, on the bottom of the deck is yet another version of ourselves. What masks do we wear? What keeps us out of our power? Because this 12-12 this is just another doorway of saying, okay, it's time to you know, go through that gateway and really figure out what, you know, why you're here, why you've been here for so many lives. What else, Spirit? All right, this time we're gonna use the Dark Mirror Tarot. Peru. <laughs> this is a good one to get before a portal opening. Parasite. So all of us might need to go within and check if there has been a hitchhiker in our system. You know, especially if you're going between worlds, you know, you're doing all of your um, adventures, so to speak, you might have picked up a parasite. So you might want to check that out. I'm going to need to check it out. Who wants to carry an extra host, a freeloader, if you will? Hmm. Naked before the stars. So definitely looking within, looking at your masks, knowing that you'll be going through a portal, a doorway. Check and see if you've got any hitchhikers in your energetic system. And naked before the stars. This is clearly saying, get prepared, get cleaned up, have your system ready, and a tune-up done before this occurs. What I'm hearing is it could be a rougher ride than you, you think it would be. Oh, leave it to spirit, right? Let's see. Any other messages other than what's in here? What I'm hearing is they welcome the chance to serve you. Some of you or most of you are already aware of your team and who assists you depending on, you know, what avenue of that thing you take as far as like having a team. They know that they want you to know that you have their back. If you feel like this, this is something a little more serious than something that you feel like you can take care of by yourself. They're there and you already know that. I just heard something about a turnaround. Expect a turnaround. What does that mean? Interesting, they're saying some of you are going to have some kind of a visitation. Um, some of you are going to have a turnaround of a situation that you thought was already over. And they're saying they're trying to be kind enough to forewarn you that a situation is going to come back around and it's going to be a test. And of course, they say they generally don't um, let people know ahead of time when they're going to be tested, but there's going to be a turnaround. There's going to be a returning of something that is going to test you. And it's not like it's going to be some drama drama or it is, and you're going to choose not to participate in it because you don't want, you no longer need it. That part of it is done for you. So they're saying they need you to know that because this, pre this preparing of looking at your masks, looking in your own inner world, 
looking at the reflection. You know, what is in your inner world? Are you good with yourself? You know, are you hiding yourself with these Russian nesting dolls? They're saying you better, you better take a, a good look because you don't want to be unprepared because there's a lot of you who, you know, there's not going to be a whole lot of people who listen to this um, reading, but for those of you who do, they're saying that you, obviously you're an advanced soul. Obviously, you know a lot of deeper meanings than most people understand. And I'm not, you know, saying anything bad about anybody else. Everybody's on their own journey. But be prepared because this is, this could potentially kick your butt. Because this is a hearkening of the next phase of and training, teaching, expanding, and learning. And you're going to be opening your heart to expand and accept more things than you ever thought that you could. And that is all. All right, you guys, I hope that was helpful. Um, I'm going to have to listen to it again to see how, because it seemed like it was kind of fast moving. The energy was very um, kind of go, go, go. And if all goes well, I will revisit this after the 1212 portal and um, possibly go into um, the next phase of the 1221 because of course being that being the solstice that is just as powerful so thank you so much for joining me please like this video so it can go around to the people who need to hear this I hope that this was helpful leave me a comment down below on what you thought and you know, any insights that you got, because I'm sure you got a ton of insights that I didn't even see. So please express those too, because I want to have a full picture of all of it. All right, you guys. Thank you. Bye.